As rallies continue across our country, there are growing calls to support more black-owned businesses. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Aya Galal explains the initiatives. Fire and Spice Vegan Restaurant started about 10 years ago in Hartford. The Jamaican family-owned business was created to provide customers with healthy meal options. If a customer comes in, they can have jerk tofu, barbecue tofu. Those are more of your meat substitutes. Jamelia Crawford and her husband, Chef Chris Haylett, enjoy running a business in the capital city community. We raise our kids vegan and, um, you know, we bring the, 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 the flavor of their home here to the public. And they recognize firsthand some of the challenges that come with being black business owners. Since the death of George Floyd more than two weeks ago, there have been growing calls to put an end to racial injustices. Many have taken to social media to encourage people to support black owned shops and restaurants. We needed to stay alive. Customers say that support is one way of becoming a better ally. And I think now more than ever, it's really important to know you know, what you're buying, where is it coming from, where is this money going, what are the ethics that those people are going to do with, with that money going forward? Is it going to support something you care about and something you fight against, or is it going to go to the opposite? In the U.S., there are nearly 2.6 million small black-owned businesses. And when the pandemic struck, Fire and Spice was among the many locally-owned black businesses forced to reduce its hours. Chris and Jamelia say they're hopeful people will make informed decisions about what what they eat and where they decide to spend their money. We, we, we rest on the optimistic side of life and um, just always look to the brighter side. In Hartford, Agalal, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.